here we are going to perform the experiment to find the moment of a bar magnet using deflection magnetometer. This is the bar magnet whose moment is to be determined using this deflection magnetometer. Deflection magnetometer contains a compass box which is mounted on a wooden board. Also it contains two scales which are the arms of this deflection magnetometer. The arms coincide at the center of the compass box. That means the readings start from center of the compass box. This is the compass box. You can see a magnetic needle and aluminium pointer which is pivoted freely. That means it is free to move. This compass box is divided into four quadrant and each quadrant is graduated from 0 to 90. There is a plane mirror in the compass box which helps to take the readings vertically by making the pointer and its image fall into the line of sight. You can take the reading from compass box only after the aluminium pointer comes into rest. This is the zero points. Zero points. For tan a position, we have to make this zero zero parallel to the amps of the deflection magnetometer. Zero zero parallel to the amps of the deflection magnetometer. Now rotate the deflection magnetometer as a wall so that the aluminium pointer reads zero zero. This is tan A position. So the aluminium pointer now reads 0, 0. Now we are going to place this bar magnet at a distance small d. While placing the magnet, it should ensure that the deflection of the aluminium pointer is in between 30 and 60. We are placing this center of this bar magnet uh, into a distance. 18 centimeter and we are looking into the observation there it is found that 42 42 this can be taken as theta 1 and theta 2 now reverse the polarity of the bar magnet in the same distance note on the readings from the deflection magnetometer this can be taken as theta 3 and theta 4. Now we are placing this bar magnet into the next term. Again the same distance. And note down the deflection in compass box. This we can take as theta 5, theta 6. Again reversing the magnet in the same distance. Noting the deflection in the compass box, we will get theta 7, theta 8. Coming into the observation part, we need to write the value of small d and also the values of theta 1, theta 2, etc. up to theta 8. Then we can find mean value for this theta and substituting the values in the given equation you will get the moment of bar magnet that we used for this experiment.